Central Television opened their studios at Lenton Lane in 1982. They were officially opened by Prince Philip a short time later. Within 10 years they were making 330 programmes a year in their three major studios as well as many other programmes on location in and around Nottingham. Many famous and popular programmes have been made here. Boom, Bullseye, Family Fortunes, Pot of Gold, Peak Practice and a huge number of children's programmes. The success of these studios has been phenomenal. In 11 years, Central have won 375 top awards with their programmes, many at international festivals. It's an achievement to be proud of and shows the wisdom of setting up this studio complex. Numerous news and sports programmes originate here and many independent productions are made at these central studios. The weekday morning programme Supermarket Sweep is a great deal of fun but hard work for the production team who make five programmes a day. And just enjoy yourself and thanks for giving up your evening for coming down and saying hi. I hope you have a good time. Thanks very much. Our contestants who are standing round by the bread department there, they're waiting to make their entrance uh, down this aisle here. So, what will happen once we start, uh, we'll have our opening titles, and I'll be doing a bit of rabbiting over the, the titles there. Just doing a bit of sorting out on the floor here, ladies and gentlemen. There is uh, Jack coming in there, who's the television head of plastic plants. Uh, really. <laughs> Uh, up, so the audience enjoy every minute of it all. Commercial radio came to Nottingham in 1975. Radio Trent was housed in a building that had once been a women's hospital. And there's said to be a ghost in the studio areas which at one time was a mortuary. Providing a local radio service 24 hours a day with news bulletins on the hour, sports programmes, a lot of music programmes catering for all tastes and a regular fashion programme. Radio Trent started in Nottingham, but now also runs a commercial station in Derby. Five years ago they began a golden oldie music station, Gem AM, as well as carrying on Trent FM, featuring up-to-date music. OK, well what sort of time can we come and talk to you? About 9.30. 9.30 on Saturday morning. Yeah, that's fine. Well, really, you know, only just it'll soon be Christmas. Oh, dear. We've shot it now, Autumn's here, at the Jamie's with Summertime, Summertime from 1958 on Gem. It's uh, 12 minutes away from 11 o'clock. <laughs> The engineering team have to service two Nottingham stations as well as the Derby station and they look after five transmitters. It's a full-time job, keeping three studios on the air, constantly checking equipment and spares in a crowded workshop. A staff of over 60 work to please an audience over a wide area. The morning show with Robbo on Trent and the bigger music mix, wet, 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 and good night, girl. The BBC have been based at York House on Mansfield Road since 1968. There was a television studios on Derby Road before that, making a local presence on regional and national television. The Derby Road studios also broadcast many radio programmes about news and current affairs in the East Midlands. Now television and radio are together under one roof. The television unit is mainly concerned in producing a high quality 30 minute news programme each evening. East Midlands today covers the counties of Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire, Leicestershire, Lincolnshire and part of Northamptonshire and has won awards for its efforts. At one time Nottingham provided a few minutes of news into the Birmingham based Midlands today. Now it has a very successful daily half hour programme of its own. This is where it all happens at 6.30 every weekday evening. A fully professional team work throughout the day to get the news and then present it in style. The studio is often linked up to the BBC's national television network for news items and interviews. A large office is shared by the television and radio staff. Nottingham is a very active news area and provides a large amount of material into national news programmes. 
In the early days of radio in this country, there was a local radio station in Nottingham. The call sign was 5NG, and a small and dedicated staff made a variety of programmes. It was a relay station in 1924, established by the British Broadcasting Company to bring the network output of 2LO to areas of the country outside London, together with local entertainment. 5NG had its studios on Bridlesmith Gate. There were programmes for children, and the Junior Club had 20,000 members, and there were outside broadcasts of the opening of the university and classical concerts. The radio pioneers of 5NG are still remembered with affection by Nottingham people today. BBC Radio Nottingham came along in 1968. 3.8 FM, you're listening to the county's favourite radio station, BBC Radio Nottingham. Tuesday morning, it's now nine o'clock. A small staff, including local people, began broadcasting a few hours a day in 1968 and filled the rest of the day relaying national network programmes, very much as they did in the days of 5NG. Now there's 15 hours a day of local broadcasting. Footpaths Preservation Society. Do you remember if you are interested in joining them, John Bosley is the man to talk to. He's a man you know, of course. It's uh, Dennis Howells, always here on a Wednesday to uh, test your knowledge of films. Here's a chance to turn the tables. Good there are sequence programmes of two and three hours duration full of local news and a mixture of music and speech. Some serious, some light-hearted. Local radio is a different type of broadcasting. It's much more personal to its listener. Radio Nottingham carries the largest radio audience in the area, beating all the opposition and the national radio networks. The team of engineers responsible for two major broadcasting studios, two FM transmitters and a wealth of equipment throughout the building. There's a flow of programme material to London. Nottingham is the centre of a shared programme network to other BBC stations in the East Midlands. The engineers keep the whole setup on the air 24 hours a day and the newsroom get the news on the hour on the air. Radio Nottingham News with Arson Ford. Two men have been arrested in Mansfield after a man was stabbed at a campsite in Staffordshire. It all sounds so natural and casual on radio that it's easy to forget the backstage team. There's a great deal of care taken in news bulletins and local information which has to be accurate. Details of local events and happenings get broadcast and a busy and active Nottingham is under the spotlight all the time with its local radio. Yeah. Um. If we're going to do that, it'll be 10 o'clock. Let's do these. There's a fun day at St John's School on Vale Road at Colic tomorrow from half ten till half one. Every programme has its team unit gathering information and preparing for the current and future programmes. A comparatively small staff is kept very busy, but it's a rewarding job in close contact with the customer, the listener. What were you going to say? That was the island. Yes, you can have Sleepy Lagoon, because it was called Sleepy Lagoon. Do you know who wrote it? Right, so Thursday at 2.30. Can you send me, um, will the book be here by Thursday? We'll try and get back to you, but we can't promise. Okay. Bye-bye. There are general programmes, sports programmes and specialist music programmes. Many listeners stay with Radio Nottingham throughout the day. They get all the news and information they require from their own local radio station. See fur coat and no knickers, the Mike Harding standard as it's become now. Very funny play, we'll have a review of that a little bit later on. Modern technology gets the national and local news and Radio Nottingham supplies its listeners a varied schedule of programmes. Welcome to the Sunday show. Sue and Mark Ball. Yes. Okay. To waiter, there's a fly in my soup. Don't worry, sir. The spider in the lettuce will get him. Celebrating their Ruby wedding anniversary today. Congratulations. And you're to have a lovely day. And thank you for everything. That's lots of love from Anne, Steve and Louise and Ash the dog as well. Radio Nottingham can be fun, it can be serious. Why is it successful? Here's the manager, Ken Warburton. Well, it's an almost impossible question. Uh, the chemistry of a local radio station, I think any broadcasting medium, is so complex. So many things go together and make up a successful operation. Try and identify one or two. I think personalities, the broadcasting personalities, are critically important. People listen to people. 
and relate to people. So that's important. What those people do is important. The features, the topics that are covered in programmes, news and what's on and travel and weather, that's all important. Maybe the most important though is a real commitment to the community and, and an involvement with the community. And nowhere do you see that better on Radio Nottingham than in the, the charity support that we give. And Radio Nottingham raises around £50,000 a year with its charity appeals. Great volley! This tennis tournament in July at the University Tennis Centre raised £450. The accuracy of the players wasn't always spot on, but their hearts were in the right place. Oh, bad luck, Liz.